And a lot of times, depending on the severity of the trauma, sometimes what happens is our brain will kick into survival mode. And one of the survival mechanisms of the brain is, you know, I call it selective remembering. So I, that's not the official term or whatever. I had no idea how much this stuff was impacting me, which is again, how emotions work a lot of times, unless and until you intentionally start working on and growing your emotional self-awareness. Welcome to the EQ for Entrepreneurs podcast. Like most business owners, you already know you need good business and marketing strategies to scale and be profitable. But at some point, you've hit the dreaded wall where you feel stuck and frustrated. EQ for Entrepreneurs is for business owners and leaders who are honest enough to admit that they just might be the ones holding their business back and are brave enough to change that. We're Noble and Kathy, and every week we're having candid conversations about all things emotional intelligence and how growing that has allowed us to get out of our own way and is radically transforming both our businesses and our personal lives. This is the secret sauce strategy for modern entrepreneurs who are tired of hustling without seeing results and want to grow a business and a life that they love. EQ gangsters, what's up? So this one is gonna be kind of about my journey, emotional journey of this whole VA military assistance kind of program because it has not been easy. And I just want, you know, maybe this will help out if you all know other military veterans or folks that either are going through the medical process of applying to the veterans uh, affairs system, medical health system, this may, this may be helpful. I, Cause I know there are a lot of military folks that listen to the podcast, you know, active duty and veterans. And so again, this may, this may help out. So I want to thank you all for, again, just being a part of this journey, letting us be a part of your journey, your emotional growth journey. And you know, being with us in this journey of, of rebranding and, and remodeling, um, you know, just, you know, again, thank you. Thank you for that, for just, again, being willing to be a part of this journey. And so, and, and also for those of y'all that would like to be a part of this membership that we are, we, we have already, but we are going to even upgrade even further that, that you're going to be able to go to eqgangster.com forward slash mafia eqgangster.com forward slash mafia. And that's what we're calling our membership. Our EQ membership is going to be the EQ mafia. It's going to be awesome to y'all. It's going to be a lot of phenomenal content. that's going to add a lot of value to you guys. So, and again, thank you for rating, reviewing, subscribing, sharing. Really appreciate it. Whether it's a YouTube channel, our podcast, Facebook, and again, the Facebook and YouTube channel, we got to figure out because, again, of the rebrand. So we'll see how all that goes. But for sure, our podcast is going to keep keep uh, going on. It'll just be under the EQ Gangster instead of EQ for Entrepreneurs. But it'll be the same RSS feed. It, it just the, the picture and name will change, but everything else should, should remain the same. So I, I want to share the unexpected aspect of getting logged into, not logged into, what do you call it? Becoming a, a part of this whole veterans, the VA system, the VA medical system that I was not prepared for and I did not expect. And that is the emotional side of discussing all the crap that happened to me while I was in the military at West Point and while I was in the military. And what's what is, I guess, part of what's been tough is I haven't experienced a hundredth of what many of my classmates and, and friends have experienced. They, they've been through a hundred times worse than what I've been through. And even, even that being said, what I have been through has still been very, very tough. And going through, you know, because you've got to talk to different counselors and doctors and stuff and they got to kind of assess you you know physically mentally emotionally kind of thing and 
man, it has been emotionally very, very difficult and challenging for me. I did not realize, number one, how many different things I had that were bothering me, affecting me that, I, again, I didn't even realize it. And two, I also realized that I've never worked through any of this stuff. So the crap that has happened to me in the military, I was molested. Well, that, you know, never worked through that, never, never processed that. And man, that was that there's a lot still there that I got to work through that I had no idea how that stuff was still impacting me, which is exactly how emotions work. And a lot of times, depending on the severity of the trauma, sometimes what happens is our brain will kick into survival mode. And one of the survival mechanisms of the brain is, you know, I call it selective remembering. So I, that's not the official term or whatever. Because again, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a counselor. So again, seek professional help if you feel like you need it. I am not any of those that I just described there. So you've got to, again, figure out what you need in your own journey. But for me, again, I I, um, I had no idea how much this stuff was impacting me, which is, again, how emotions work a lot of times, unless and until you intentionally start working on and growing your emotional self-awareness. So thankfully, I've got access to, uh, you know, I'm going to do a quick shout out here for an organization called Veterans Guardian, Veterans Guardian. And I've been working with them now for the the last, I don't know, a couple weeks, two or three weeks maybe. And they have been absolutely phenomenal. They help veterans submit, you know, claims and, and, and be connected with the VA and all that kind of stuff. They help, uh, uh, help you out with that process and stuff. And they've been phenomenal. And again, that's Veterans Guardian. And no, I don't, I'm not a part of them. I don't make any money off of them. I don't, I'm not a part of the company. I, now I will tell you, I have met the owner and the owner is a phenomenal guy. He's a veteran. Uh, all the employees are either military spouses or veterans. So it is truly a veteran owned and veteran run company, which is awesome. And I'm sorry if you're getting a lot of rain right now, but I guess here's the bottom line. The lesson that I want to just pass on to you guys is that you need to be prepared mentally and emotionally for the emotional journey of going through the VA system, the VA process, the VA experience, I was not emotionally ready to open up some of these things. So anyway, thank you guys again for subscribing and, and sharing and rating and reviewing. That really means a lot. You know, please share this. If you feel like this is going to help somebody else out, just remember episode 120 is also a very helpful tool to help with the, you know, increase your emotional capacity and bandwidth and emotional agility and emotional resilience episode 120 that it would be a great tool to use going through a stressful situation like you know getting getting signed up with the VA or that kind of thing and understand it's not stressful because it's 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 hard or complicated or you know the VA is bad or veterans guardian no no I've, I've had a great experience I know there's a lot of people that probably have not had good experiences with the VA I've had great experiences with the VA. I've had great experiences with Veterans Guardian. And so maybe I'm I'm the unicorn regarding the VA, but you know, I I have had a great experience and I'm so thankful again for all the folks that I have been able to work with and have worked with me and taken care of me. Because again, part of the challenge with me is I I feel, man, I, I feel a little embarrassed and guilty and ashamed even doing this episode because how I was raised, you're not supposed to tell anybody there's something wrong with you. You're not supposed to tell anybody because that's what I was told is that's a form of weakness. Well, that's totally wrong, right? That's totally messed up. If, if you need help, man, get help, get help. And just, I, I'm just telling you that just be ready or, or pre- help get, get ready, prepare yourself emotionally for what it's going to take emotionally to be talking to 
you know, numerous doctors and, and, and staff members on what, you know, what's wrong with you, what, where your ailments are, that kind of thing. So anyway, again, remember, emotionally healthy people help heal other people emotionally. And to get more information about our membership, check out EQGangster.com forward slash mafia. 